Hi, I'm Ben Ponce, editor of LSNews.org. We're here with Mr. Andrew Hoover, who's the Network and Systems Administrator at LS. We're about to go inside the Network Operations Center, more commonly known as the NOC. Let's go take a look. So what do we have going on in here? Well, over here we have uh, power. So this is all an uncorruptible power supply in case we lose power even from the generator. Um, all of these are batteries to keep all this stuff running in the event of a power outage. Over here, um, these are all storage arrays. So in here, they're all hard drives that are set up to, um, in case a drive fails, like there's redundancy built in. Um, it's called a RAID array. These are all uh, basically the storage for all the servers. Basically, if you have if you have a file on our servers, it's living in here somewhere. This stuff is for phones. This is a net scaler. This is for switching, like talking to all the servers in here. These are obviously cooling units to keep everything cool. Uh, the light speed filter, this is what filters traffic for students um, going to the outside world. Uh, these two are physical servers for building automation. This is the Safari Montage server. Uh, this is our backup server, so every server that lives in here, both physical and virtual, gets backed up with this array of drives. Uh, this is our system center server that we use to push out uh, installer packages across the district. This is for the camera system. These three servers are posts that are running virtual machines that the thin clients connect to. So if you're connecting to a thin client, you're on one of these servers here. Um, the rest of these are, I haven't gotten rid of yet, but they're off. They don't do anything anymore. And, uh, the other thing I didn't mention over here is this is a blade chassis. So each one of these things is a blade. So each one is a little server with a little bit of um, storage in it. And um, a lot of the a lot of the virtual servers we have run on one of these. So like student file servers, domain controllers, um, all of that are servers that run like some form of Windows Server, possibly Linux, depending on the application. But they all run virtually on one of these one of these rows down here. So here we have the core switch for the district. Um, basically, if you're, if you're going um, from anywhere in here out to the internet or to another building in terms of traffic, you're going to do this somehow. So all of this is fiber, fiber optics. Each one of these goes to another closet in the high school, and each one of these uh, yellow ones goes to another building. Entire district networking is right over here. Yes. So like these two go to the admin building, these two go to Martin Island, these two go to Hans Hearn, and these two go to LE. And they're um they're uh, they're redundant links. So if I pull one, LE is still up. If I pull both, I'll be back. But right now, like LE is still working and they have no idea that I pulled this. And the reason that we have that is, um, and notice that we're on two different cards, so that if one card dies, all the buildings stay working on another one. Uh, then, like I said, all of these go to the rest of the high school closets. Uh, like this one goes actually right here. This one goes downstairs, uh, 2A over by the office, upstairs, and the path. And then these go, like we have, um, there's a firewall loop in here, so like some of these go through the firewall, some of these go to the Safari Montage encoders. And then over here, each one of these patch panels goes to a port somewhere in the classroom. So if you plug into a port on the wall, it comes somewhere over here. Um, and then it gets plugged into the network, the network switches, which all converge to this switch, which then goes through the fiber to the port. And then every deposit is set up like that. Each switch converts to one switch, which then goes to the fiber to the port. And then each one of these cables goes is, 
is plugged into the switch. Blue cables go to a desk phone or to a computer. White cables go to a wireless access point. And uh, a couple other cables are foreign ones so for HVAC related stuff. And purple cables are secure cameras. Alright, so we're back out here in the quieter hallway. What is all the noise in there? Well, most of the noise is due to the cooling racks that are in there. Um, the cooling racks themselves have uh, air conditioning units in them, and then there are sensors in the racks. Um, so it spins, and, it spins and slows the fans as needed to keep them to a certain uh, to a certain temperature. So most of the noise is because of the cooling. Some of the noise is also because of the switches in there, because they're sending around so much data that they get hot and they need to keep their their fans running as well. And what would you estimate the total value of the stuff in there is? Well. This is just a very rough estimate because I'm really not sure, but I wouldn't be surprised if it went into seven figures. All right. Well, we thank Mr. Hoover for his time, and we can see the rest of our coverage of tech on lsnews.org.